Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at problem 24 from the 2021 AMC 12B. It tells us that ABCD is a parallelogram with area of 15. We're given that points P and Q are the projections of A and C respectively on the line BD. And points R and S are the projections of B and D on the line AC. And they give us this cool figure. And we're told that PQ equals 8, RS equals, sorry, PQ equals 6, RS equals 8. And D is the length of the line BD, which is the longer diagonal of ABCD. And we're told to find the area of D squared. So in this case, what we're going to do is look at just a section of this diagram. And we're going to start by assigning the intersection of the two diagonals. We're going to let this be some point M. So here I've drawn a, a more specific diagram. So what we know is, of course, that ds equals 90 degrees because of the fact that it's a projection onto our diagonal. So we have that this is 90 degrees and we know that pq equals 6. So because of the properties of a parallelogram, pm is going to equal pq. So we have that pm is just equal to 6 over 2, which is 3. So we can go ahead and put that on our diagram. We also know that RS, which is 8, we know that MR is going to be the same as MS. So we have that MS is going to equal 4. And again, we can just add that on our diagram. So we have that this whole length is 4. So now that we have these pieces of information, the last thing that we want to look at is we know that the area of the parallelogram is 15. And what we know is that the area of our triangle AMD is going to be one fourth of that. Since the height of the parallelogram is the height of our triangle, the base of the triangle is going to be one half the base of our parallelogram. So our half, and then by area of a triangle, the, form, the area is just one half times the height times the base all over two. So this is one fourth times height times base. And because we know that the height times base, which was the area of our parallelogram, was 15, we know that the area of triangle AMD is 15 over 4, since it's just one fourth of that. And now we're going to use the fact that AM, the tri area of triangle AMD is 15 over 4. So we can also write 15 over 4 as AM times our height ds over 2. We know that ds is some expression, and we're going to calculate it based on dm. So let's let dm be some length x. From there, we know that ds is going to be the square root of x squared minus 4 squared, so x squared minus 16. So we know that 15 over 4 is equal to x squared minus 16 over 2. So we have times am. So we have that am is equal to 15 over 2 times the square root of x squared minus 16. So now we're going to look at am in another way. And we're going to use the fact that asdp is actually a cyclic quadrilateral. And we can tell because our opposite angles of DSA, this one right here, and angle APD, this angle right here, they sum to 180, which means our other two angles must also sum to 180. So because this quadrilateral is cyclic, we can envision some circle around it like this. Sorry for the bad circle. But that tells us that we can use power of point with some with our point m and power of point tells us that ma times ms is equal to mp times md so we know that we have some ma and ms can be expressed as four and we know that mp is equal to three and md is our variable x so from here we can tell that ma is equal to three x over four so now we've expressed, expressed MA in two different ways. 
like here and here. So we can set these equal and solve for x. So we have that 3x over 4 is equal to 2 times x squared minus 16. We can multiply, cross multiply, and we'll see that 6x times x squared minus 16 is equal to 60. We divide by 6 on both sides, to, and then we square our expression to see that x squared times x squared minus 16 is equal to 100. So I'm going to move this equation up here for more space. So we have x to the fourth minus 16 x squared minus 100 is equal to 0. At this point, we're just going to use quadratic formula to solve for x squared. So we have b, which is 16, plus or minus the square root of 256 plus 400 over 2. And the solutions to this are going to be 16 plus or minus 4 square root 41 over 2, which can simplify to 8 plus 2 root 41. So from here, the problem is pretty straightforward. We know that x was our length dm, and we are trying to find bd, which we can notice is just double of that. So, and we wanted to find bd squared, which is 2x squared, so that's just 4x squared. So all we have to do is take this expression and multiply by 4, and that's going to give us 32 plus 8 root 41. And now they're asking us to find the sum of 32, 8, and 41, which is 81. And that's going to be option choice A, which will be our answer. So this problem was definitely a little bit complicated. There was a lot of stuff going on. So I'm going to quickly summarize what we did. So from facts about parallelograms, we knew that PM was half of PQ, which is 3. We knew that ms, which is going to be half of rs, is 4. Then we let our diagonal dm be x, and then we express ds in terms of that. Then we used, then we tried to find the area of the side am in two different ways. We used the fact that the area of amd is one-fourth the area of a parallelogram, and we also used power of point, which required some creative thinking since we had to add in a circle that wasn't already there to see how it could be used. So we found the area in two different ways, using x, and then we set them equal right here. We solved for x to find our length, and then we just multiplied it by 4 to find our bd squared. And we got our answer was 32 plus 8 square root 41, and then we just expressed it how the problem wanted us to, to get an answer of 81. So this problem was pretty complicated, but it's just remember to keep everything organized and keep some variables so that you know what's going on and you can express your lens in different ways. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more math content. If you have any other solutions to this problem, feel free to put them in the comments below.